Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. This is episode 10, and I'm your host, Joe, from Dude Den Gaming. So we last left off, we had just received our second badge. We have our evolved Pokemon, and uh, we're coming up to our second rival fight. So hopefully we have this in the bag. I would hate to white out here. Yes, Team Rocket's return, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. You see, I wish I had a Ghastly. What a cool Pokemon to have. And you're dead. Okay, Croc Knock. So, good thing we have a Mary. If Mary can't do it, we do have our, uh, our powerful Bellsprout. Let's see how this goes, though. Oh, shit. Okay, and we're gonna switch to Bellsprout. Um, you know, your, your, your rival doesn't really care about his Pokemon, so I doubt he'd ever use a uh, potion or anything. And a Zubat. So we'll finish it off. Hopefully Mary is faster than the Zubat. Or hopefully he uses Leech Life or something really terrible. Oh, oh. Never mind. But, this is a, a real good one. And there we go. That was our second rival battle. I guess his Pokemon weren't as good as I thought. Maybe I'm just a really great trainer. Blah blah. This guy, I don't... You know, even for a guy who stole a Pokemon, he's a pretty bad trainer. Even if he... If he was given those Pokemon, I would feel like whoever, uh, whoever gave that to him is really just in the wrong. Those Pokemon are in serious danger with him. I wonder how close this is to hatching. Still moves around sometimes. Okay. Oh wow, Kakuna. Now, if you knew more than Jess Harden, I would totally catch you. But you know, that's a that's a big if there. Now Hopefully, I don't actually have an HM Horror, I just realized. Um, that's really unfortunate, because I definitely am wanting one. And I don't think Beedrill can learn Cut. Don't remember, but uh, you know, I don't really feel like taking my chances there. God, are there anything other than Weedle in this forest? What about Ladybug? There we go. That is a bird holding leaf. Now who do I teach Cat to? That's a that's a hard decision. Thank you. So Mary is sick. And Paris can learn cut. Perfect. And uh, we'll just throw the Pokeball at it now. And we have got our HM Horror for cut. Maybe I'll even use Paris. Paris, Paris is a cool Pokemon. Okay. Well, I'm poisoned. If I wasn't, I would definitely fight you. I'm just gonna see if I have anything that cures poison. I don't want my Mary to die. For no reason. Good thing this isn't Nuzlocke, or you guys would think I was just the most terrible Pokemon trainer, I'm sure. We're gonna go to the center, heal up, and get rid of Ekans, because, you know, Ekans is as good as you are, kind of a piece of shit. just so it can no cut is... I forget too if this is the game that uh, added the HM remember, but uh, I just don't want to risk that 
and you know it's really an, a terrible, unnecessary move. Might as well just keep tackling it until it's level, you know. Damn. Whatever level you want to call it. It looks forest shrine. I feel like I should uh, maybe get a game shark code and make it so I can use Celebi. Don't know what you guys would think of that. But, uh, you know, Celebi's a pretty, pretty cool Pokemon. I've never used a Celebi either. And I'd really like to. I've never even seen Celebi. Now, I just remember this guy gives you a TM for Headbutt. And Headbutt is a, quite a strong normal move. Um, definitely better than Tackle. Not to mention, you can use it on trees and get cool Pokemon. Way cooler than a Paris, that's for sure. When you're paralyzed. Well, that's game over for you. There you go. Thank you. Alright, so we now have Headbutt. We're gonna give it to uh, Quilaba. Unless someone else can learn it. Hmm. You know, Geodude's actually a pretty, pretty good candidate for that. We're gonna give it to Geodude, and we're gonna headbutt this tree. Maybe this one. Okay, there we go. And it was a level 10 Weedle. That's solid. Now I can catch that, level it up twice, and I have a Beedrill. Um, oh, and Mary's evolving. Nice. And we now have a Flappy. Congratulations. Now that's a, that's a cool Pokemon right there. I don't know many Pokemon that evolve at level 15. Well, obviously not Geodude. Oh, it's making sounds. It's gonna hatch soon. Nice. Um, I guess we can switch then. Now, hmm, do I go back to town so Mary can heal? Oh. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm gonna run back to town and heal my Mary. And while I do that, I will fast forward through all the battles. Hopefully walk through this Kakuna. I mean, it is even harder. I just want to get a Weeping Bell very soon. I have all my other Pokemon involved, so... Oh, there we go. And there we go. We're at the Pokemon Center, and we didn't lose Mary. Or should I say Flaffy? Alright, we'll just fast forward through this little area too. Because we've already done all this. And... Oh! Okay, yeah, thank you, Kakuna. Yeah, we'll use some Vine Whips on you. Hopefully you get a free level up. And, uh, continue on on our journey. Oh my god. So close to leveling up. Oh, whoops. There we go. Oh, and Bellsprout still doesn't evolve, eh? I can't, I can't bring myself to fight another wheel. Like, seriously. Cocoon is okay, though, because he gets more experience. just got through the forest and we are on our way to Goldenrod City. We're going to get our third badge and meet some cool 
people, I guess, on the way. Um, so this is Joe from Dude Den Gaming signing off. Thanks for watching.